Kia ora, boys and girls. I'd like to read to you Bat Kiwi by Melinda Sismanic. I think I say her name. Kiwi's beak was sharp, his legs were strong, his feathers were hairy, and his heart beat true. More than anything, he desired to help others. Good Kiwi. To do good, to save the day. Back Kiwi. One night as the moon rose high, a call came over the bush telegraph. Tweet by tweet, from tree to tree. Help, emergency, we need a hero. <sighs> Kiwi ran as fast as his sturdy legs could carry him. He was pretty fast, but he wasn't fast enough. That weasel stole my egg. My baby's gone, Kakapo cried. Which way did it go, said Kiwi. There's a nasty old weasel up there. Too late. It left a long time ago, Kakapo said, pointing to the east. Even through the trees, Kiwi could see that the sun now was rising. He sighed. His wings were so small he couldn't give Kakapo a consoling hug. Weeks passed without incident. The forest hummed with activities and things growing. Kiwi had almost got over his disappointment of his failed rescue. Then one evening, as the last ray of the sun slid away over the horizon, and Kiwi stretched and yawned awake. He heard the cry. You know, Kiwis sleep during the day, awake at night. Help, emergency, we need a hero. Kiwi ran as fast as his sturdy legs could carry him. He was pretty fast, but he wasn't fast enough. Junior climbed that tree and can't get down. Mama Skink cried. Can you fly up and get him? Kiwi shook his head. Climb up. Kiwi shook his head. So, can you help at all? See, Kiwis can't fly and they can't climb trees. Kiwi just shook his head about helping at all and he turned and scuttled off. If he had a tail, it would be between his legs. And look, somebody's helping the little baby skink down the tree. He scuttled off until the forest was behind him and the no night noises were a distant clamour. Days passed without incident until Help! Emergency! We need a hero! Kiwi ran as fast as his sturdy legs could carry him. He was pretty fast, but he wasn't fast enough. Hungry flames danced at the edge of the bush. Someone threw a burning stick onto the dry grass. And now look at it, Ruru shrieked. Ruru's the owl, eh? We need water, cried Wecker. The creek is too far away, said Kiwi. His legs were already tired from running as fast as they could. The flames kept eating and growing, eating and growing, smoking and hissing and crackling. A sudden roaring sound rose up and Kiwi heard shouts of, Coming through! Watch out! The largest Kuni Kuni pig. Look at him. That Kiwi had ever seen barreled through the clearing. He stomped on the fire as it went, before disappearing into the bush again. A minute later he trotted back and did, a small wee on the smouldering leaves. Fancy that. Just to be sure, said the pig. No one wants to be roasted. And then off he went again. Good old Cooney Cooney. Ruru hooted. No one better, said Weta. Kiwi backed away. He slunk off into the undergrowth and hid in the cave. It was dark. And something cleared its throat. 
Excuse me? A voice said. Although you have the true heart of a hero, even heroes need help. Perhaps I can be of assistance. Who do you think's in the cave? Hanging upside down. You? Two are always stronger than one, the voice replied, and everyone needs a friend. Like a team, Kiwi asked. A dynamic duo, the creature confirmed. Would it work? Kiwi wondered. He was keen to find out. But once again the forest grew quiet, and its inhabitants were content. Until one night when a call came. Help! Emergency! We need a hero! Kiwi got ready to run. No need for that squeak bat, as she clasped Kiwi's wings, claws with her feet. Stretching her arms out, she flapped hard. I'm flying, said Kiwi. We sure are. Let's go and save the day, squeaked the bat. High in a karaka tree sat Kiru, big fat wood pigeon, with one wing wedged in a split branch. Bat Kiwi landed alongside. One moment, please, Kiwi said, if you would just hold still. Kiwi forced his beak into the split, pressing hard to widen it, while Bat flapped slowly to hold him steady. Finally, Kiru flew free, crying, You saved me! What heroes! Bat Kiwi, you're the best! The call echoed through the forest. Bat Kiwi! Bat Kiwi! And now, when something goes wrong in the forest, the cry goes up. Help! Emergency! We need Bat Kiwi! a nice little book tells you about some of the New Zealand birds and bats we've got our native bat here it's a book about teamship and realizing that different people have got different gifts some people can do things like climb trees stomp on fires and some when they join with someone else like bat and kiwi were well they could do all sorts of things We need each other. Blessings to you this week.